So welcome to phase three of building a workshop, finally creating stuff. So this is gonna be a bit more of a no nonsense episode where we actually work on stuff. So today we're working on my gas mask that I wear uh, when I make my entrance whenever I'm wrestling. As you can see, some of the edges and stuff have a lot of wear from like handling it when I'm putting it on. And in general, it's sort of like, it does look quite apocalyptic, but I think I can make it look better. I don't have any clips of when I first did this, but basically all I did was I took paint and watered it down and then sort of brushed it on in some areas, did a bit of sanding, uh, made a couple of scuff marks. I don't know if you can see, there's like little cut bits here. So format for this episode, we're gonna Is that better? I don't know if it's better. Let me know in the comments. So we're gonna have one angle looking down at the table and then we're gonna use this god awful handy cam as a second sort of close up. This lovely little Aperture ALM9 light. These lights are amazing. Mounted to a Gorillapod knockoff, which will be here. This is a much more fluid process where I don't really know what I'm going to be doing exactly. Like I have, I have that, we might do some burning. All I know is we definitely want to touch up these bits along here. Raw umber color and burnt sienna. And we're going to mix those two together to achieve this sort of color. And then we're going to take this nasty brush here and sort of just dry brush it on. So I guess we're just going to have to use this anyway. We want to make sure it's nice and watery. We don't want it to look like it's painted on. A bit more of the umber. I feel mildly like Bob Ross doing this. Except we're not making happy little trees, we're making happy little happy little uh, apocalypses. Let's try that. So the technique that I used last time when I did this was sort of a, almost a dry brushing technique where I kind of just flick. It's not really dry brushing, but you kind of just flick the paint across. Because with proper dry brushing, you dry the brush off as much as you can first and then that kind of does it so we're just gonna go over the whole mask here at least this side i did intend to make like a styrofoam head for it as well but i didn't have any pieces of styrofoam laying around This isn't exactly the best brush for this as well. The important thing is to make sure the paint is watery as well, so then it settles into the cracks of the mask a bit better. The crevices, not really cracks. And there we go, the gas mask looks a lot more derelict now. Sort of retained the, uh, the color a bit better. I'm not sure how it's gonna go with the, the spray though. We're gonna try the clear gloss. Give it the lightest spray. So while we wait for that to dry a little bit more, we did have this in another video and in one bit we did the, I believe it was the raw armor paint and then the burnt sienna paint on that. I like the look of both of these, but I think a combined look would be a bit better. 
Um, we will be attempting the jacket probably in about two to three weeks. I've got a couple upcoming shows and I don't kind of want to ruin the jacket before those shows if it doesn't turn out very good. And we got ourselves a lighter and we're gonna test how burns look in it a bit more. I feel like that achieved a nice crispy sort of burn mark and that was the kind of look I was going for. Burnt like a solid hole in it. Next idea I had was pretty much adding some corrosion to the metal. I have lime green paint and I have red paint and I have this raw umber and in some combination of these three I'm going to find some kind of metal corroded caustic looking tone. looking a lot more toxic now look at that Ugh. positively sickening looking now it's like a toxic sort of sludge and then what we're gonna do with this is we're really gonna water it up around there Now we're achieving that sort of effect. Brown thickened up quite nicely and it makes it look nice and nice and derelict, um, which is the look I'm going for. It'll probably be it for this episode of uh, making stuff. If everybody wants to see more of this kind of content, um, keep coming back to the channel because there's always going to be more of this content. I. As I said in the past, I really enjoy doing all this kind of stuff. And it's nice to finally have a space properly to do it that's convenient in a way. Obviously, this is far from the final product of what the workshop is going to be, but we're getting there. The important thing is to start, just like I've started with these videos, the important thing is to just start and start doing things. So this mask is just the first of many steps, the first of many projects. Adding the bookshelf, like that, that's the first step in customizing the space to how I need it to be. Enough rambling for me anyway, guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Any comments, any queries, questions, statements, facts, facts whether they're useful or not, leave a comment. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.